guys, welcome to Review 500. Yep, never thought I'd actually make it to this point, to be honest. I'm just so humbled by all of the support that I've received whilst doing this. And uh, of course, the people who I've come across from uh, doing this weird and wonderful hobby. So many awesome people involved in this. And um, yeah, hopefully in the next year, I'll be able to finally meet up with some of my good friends and um, yeah, even some of the commenters. Um, it, it's just crazy to me. I cannot put into words how crazy it is that people actually will watch me review a beer um, when I really don't know much, to be honest. Uh, but that that's what the whole thing was with the Clueless Drinker. It wasn't like, oh, well, this is what you should look for in a beer, like style guidelines and things like that. Not that there's anything wrong with that, because, you know, having people who know what they talk about is, you know, even more valuable than, you know, just me sat here giving my thoughts, opinions. But, you know, it was all about me documenting my journey. And, uh, yeah, I've, I'd like to think that I've come to uh, know a little bit more than I initially did. And uh, it's the people, though. That's what really is what drives me to do this. Yeah, the beers sometimes are completely out of this world and they're rewarding in themselves, but it's the interactions and the relationships that have come about that just keep me doing this. And uh, yeah, review 500. Let's see if we can get to review 1000, and if not... Uh, many more after that. As you can see, um, I get sentimental sometimes and my English goes completely out of the window. I'm not just dedicating this beer to you guys out there on BeerTube. I'm also dedicating this to my uh, younger brother, who uh, it was his birthday as we're recording this, so we've uh, just been out, hence why I'm dressed like this. Although I kind of, I kind of like the clueless drink of putting in effort. So maybe you'll see me putting in effort in more videos. Who knows? Probably not. Probably just be me with greasy hair in a t-shirt and uh, wearing no pants like most Clueless Drink reviews are. Dedicating to this to um, newly wedded uh, friends back in Germany who, um, you know, two of the most awesome, beautiful people you will ever meet. And it's just a shame that I can't be in Germany to be celebrating it. So... Uh, Andy, Sepp, if you're watching this, I'm dedicating this beer review to you guys as well. Friggin' love you guys, and uh, yeah, hopefully in the new year I can make it back over to Germany and meet up with some of the people who I'm, I'm missing like crazy. So uh, yeah, it's uh, quite a big review, as you can see. So uh, as you can tell by the intro, as always, and the title to the video, uh, we're looking at the subliminal Imperial Stout with coffee, clocking in at 10% from the wonderful guys over at Buxton Brewery. And this is brewed in collaboration with Stillwater Artisanal. Bottled on the 31st of July 2017, best before date is July, 31st of July 2019. So I could have happily kept hold of this one for quite a few years, but I have the... Uh, yeah, I'm not really patient and uh, as you can tell by the double chin the uh, the moobs and the uh, robust figure that I have uh, I'm pretty damn greedy. It's very rare that you'll see me review a a beer that I have aged I'll probably end up buying an aged beer, but um, yeah We all know how that goes unless you're Harry from Blue Nose Beer Reviews who has so many beers that he's aging that he could just throw them in casually into a, a, a friggin beer trade. Nah, I thought I'd open this for a special occasion and it's a special occasion for a few reasons. So uh, yeah, I'm in good spirits. So hopefully this should be a good review. And if not, then I'm ho hopefully at least it's an entertaining one. And being over in Germany, didn't really have too much uh, access to the beers. Uh, yeah, just happy that when I'm doing the review. Thank you. And one thing that I really like about um, 
Buxton Brewery is the artwork on their bottles. I mean, you'll have seen this much better at the intro because I'm having to use my phone to record this one. Cracking artwork, and I still need to know who does the artwork for Buxton because they are, uh, if it's an individual or if it's a studio or in-house, whoever they are, they are very talented people indeed. And I think they should, they should get the credit that they deserve. As you guys know, I like to promote the artists on the labels, but uh, yeah, beautiful looking beer and a fantastic... <laughs> Can a silver crown be fantastic? See, I'm talking up my arse already. Let's get on with the review. So uh, yeah, an Imperial Coffee Stout, even though it's now approaching uh, 9 o'clock on a school night. So, uh, fantastic stuff. Um, I was going to be recording this yesterday, not that it matters because it's going to be going up like two weeks after I record it, um, because uh, the day before recording it was International Coffee Day. So I could have had like this big elaborate connection of amazingness with a beer review, but um, yeah, I think dedicating this to newly wedded friends is um, a big deal enough in itself. So, as with most of my uh, stouts, I'll be using my Beer Moth Tulip Glass, and just look at that. Oh, that's like oil. Absolutely fantastic. Not really pouring it with a glug, though. But look at that. I mean, I don't even really need to hold it up to the light to tell you that that is pretty much jet black. And just, uh, you can't really say, well, actually, you can. Look at those alcohol legs. It's like leaving a shimmer, and it's staying in the glass already. Oh, that just looks, it just looks so velvety and rich and like a big block of black colour. I mean, you do get like a, uh, a sort of um, ebony tinge around the rim of the glass, but the body of the beer itself is pretty much as jet black as it's going to be. No head to speak of. Uh, wasn't really expecting to have a big head anyway. I mean, I'm sure when I pour the rest in, it will generate a little bit. But just look at that. It just looks so viscous already. It just... It, it's, it's, a, it's a beauty to behold. It really, really is. And I hope that the camera is doing this beer justice. So anyway, let's see what we get on the aroma. There's so much going on. Um, it's like multiple characteristics of varying Imperial Stouts in one. I'm getting like that slight like savoury soy sauce, hoisin sauce aroma coming out of this one. Obviously you're getting a big hit of that coffee, very roasty. A little bit of like a tobacco smoke coming out of it, but then that's backed up nicely with a like a big rich indulgent chocolate character. And then you get the lovely like really dark plummy fruits of the forest that sort of thing treacle molasses to the eyeballs i mean you get like it's not boozy on the nose but you get that sort of like really indulgent dessert liqueur aroma coming out of it i mean it's not like overpowering in any way it's robust but it's not in your face and it's such a a lovely actually well balanced beer and that's great because you're getting all of these different elements coming out of it it's that like slight soy and almost woody character that just is put it in a direction that i've never really had with an imperial stout before caramel oh, it's just it just smells absolutely wonderful so uh without any further ado let's give it a taste cheers and i'm at 10 minutes already fucking hell That's absolutely sensational. That is just such a lovely beer. It really, really is. It's got that slight velvety treacleness to it, but it isn't too heavy. That carbonation just cuts through at the right time and with the right amount. You feel like a coating on the inner of your mouth after you've taken a sip. But then there's like this ever so slight cinnamon ginger like chlorine character. I'm getting images of like chocolate covered like mallow caramel 
chocolates. Uh, like, you know, stuff like, um, like Rolos. It's tasting like Rolos. You're not getting like the soy character that I was getting on the aroma. You're not really getting that. You, you do get actually like a slight sweet woody tone coming through as well. <laughs> but yeah, it's just, just absolutely gorgeous. Like Rolos, Maltesers, that sort of thing. You feel the warmth. I mean, being at 10% ABV, you're bound to. But it's not boozy at all. And it's just one of those, you know that it's 10% beer. But you could get so carried away with this one and just drink it way, way too quickly. I think most of all, it's the, like, the robustness, if that's the proper term, of the flavours in there and the strength of character that is going to make you want to just take your time sup, indulge each and every mouthful. Slight dark fruit characters as well, just playing around with those other flavours. There's not one domineering factor to this beer and it's just so beautifully blended. I am getting like a very slight savoury soy character on the back end on the finish after you've you know finished taking a few sips. And again, just adds an, another dimension to this beer, but nothing too, you know, in your face or anything like that. It doesn't detract anything from the flavour. In fact, it just, it's again, it's every characteristic of this beer just works for the beer and not for itself, if that makes sense. Um, like, it's not, oh, look at me, look at me, get a big rush of chocolate right now. It's, it's nothing like that. You get those flavours, but it's playing nicely with the other flavours in there. And it's just it's just masterfully blended. It really, really is. I can't I really can't fault it. And um, I, I can't think of a better beer uh, that I've had recently to, to mark five hundred beer reviews to celebrate the wedding of two of my closest friends. To celebrate the, the birth of my younger brother and uh, to celebrate and to pay tribute to you guys out there who continue to support the channel this is what it's all about when you can dedicate a beer like this to someone then you're in a good place you really really are well, i'd like look, the coffee i've not even talked about the coffee because there's so much going on it's a lovely roasted like a lovely blend of coffee i'm not sure what coffee they've used but again, it's just such, it's the quality of it. You can tell, you can taste the quality of the ingredients. And it's got that slight nuttiness, which plays with that soy character on the back end. It's just absolutely wonderful. This is one of those beers where, you know, perfect for seeing in 2018, you know, on New Year's Eve, you just pop open a bottle of this that you've been keeping away for a while. And you just sit back and you think about all the good stuff. It's one of those beers. And I very rarely get sentimental on the channel, but um, it's really putting me, it's put me in a good place right now. I'm really looking forward to finishing this beer because it's, well actually no, I want to take as long as I can to drink this. Yeah, it's safe to say it's a 10 out of 10. So if you've tried this beer, as always, let me know your thoughts, opinions down below. Are you a fan of Book, book Water? Buxton and Stillwater. Um, I'll be putting their websites down below. Check out the Buxton playlist for more reviews. Of course, um, if any of my friends and fellow beer tubers have reviewed this beer, their reviews will be included also. And uh, yeah, fantastic stuff. Check out my Imperial Style playlist for some more absolutely wonderful examples of the style. When you get an Imperial Style done right, there is no beer that can touch it, in my honest opinion. And this is one of them. Yeah, chocolate covered currants, chocolate covered raisins, so many desserty, cheeky, naughty, chocolatey vibes going on. If you're a coffee lover, you're gonna love it. It's that subtlety of the coffee, I think, and like the the quality of the blend. Yeah, it, it's it's just absolutely fantastic. So uh, yeah, I've gone on for almost 20 minutes, which uh, will probably be cut down to like 16 minutes or something like that, knowing 
my editing. Thank you all for watching and uh, here's to the next one and here's to review 1000. See you guys later and uh, I'm just going to say it, you're, I'm just going to say it, you're all fucking awesome. Cheers. Thank you.